Happy Thursday. It's a little bit cool in here. 63 degrees. A little bit less than 50% relative humidity. And it's not exactly a fully overcast, but there's a little bit of blue sky. But it is not as warm as I thought it would be. Welcome to a build a boat Thursday. I hope it's a build a boat Thursday. Um, I've got short sleeves on. I think I better go put a shirt on or a jacket. A little nippy. Usually the sun beats down on this thing and warms it up in here pretty nicely, but not today. So, burr. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll share what my goal is today. Is to clean up the remnants of making those last two frames. Um, this is frame 11. You see that? So my goal is to get frame 11 glued up. And for those of you who are also new, remember, I told you, most of the frames have been pre-cut. They should go together pretty simply. But if this was cut wrong, then that's how I ran into all those problems with the last one so go ahead and check these out we'll get them together i don't have any more gusset plates made already uh we didn't pre-cut the ones out going forward so there's two pieces of plywood there a couple over there and the whole sheet so i should have enough to get most of it done um before i have to get some more and that's douglas fir marine gray plywood not bs88 or 6550 i don't know what the number is <laughs> it's just regular old marine grade plywood uh but anyway i'm going to try a different method instead of pre-cutting those chime plates out i'm going to try something different i think i'm going to go to one chime plate per side so before i had four for one frame two on the upper chine, two in the lower chine. So we're gonna try something different just to save some cutting time. Uses more material, but if you recall, there was only like an inch gap between the last two chine plates I put on. So it's not like I'm saving a bunch of material by uh, cutting multiple chine plates out per side. So let's go ahead and get a jacket, <laughs> get to work. Burr. Presto changeo table is clean and so now we're ready to put together frame 11 but that stack of drawings right there does not include <laughs> frame 11 so I've got to go in the house and print out the blueprints so let's get to doing that now ba boom <laughs> it's done so on my computer I did not have this dimension marks I had to go in and actually use the um, tool to create the dimensions put it on there so I'm gonna lay it out like this to match the table this is this is that centerpiece the six inch piece will go that way three inch piece that way Let's get her done. So everything is cut. I did have to rework the cuts a little bit. Get them tighter. They had a little bit of a gap in it. So this one's been pre-cut. Well, I just trimmed off the end there. Now I have to come down here and cut that relief in that goes around the Kilson. But first I'm going to get the other frame out down here. Cut that end. Then I'll do both of these at the same time. So, uh, yeah, and this one also had to recut just a little bit. So, moving ahead. I spent about an hour doing this. Oh, and I tried to use the plywood, let me show you, <clears throat> to do what I wanted to do, but I would have wasted a lot. These center chines here, uh, one foot 
11. So to get two pieces out of the plywood, you see, it can't happen. I would only get one piece out of each one foot section. So went back to what I was doing. So I've cut two pieces out. This is for the upper. Then I'll just route out, take the router and get rid of that. Uh, yeah, don't want to double my budget for plywood. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the other one cut out. We're in business, ready to start gluing up. So I have my tools ready, epoxy ready, screws ready, screw gun ready. <laughs> And I uh, got the other one cut up. It's back in the pile. So all I have to do is glue this one in tomorrow. Just glue the other one. So no carpentry work. So I should be able to get four frames in three days, I guess. Um, still have to do the floors, of course. All right, let's get the gluing. And we're done. At least this one frame. Keyway cut out for the Kilson. Glue it up, and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I just save about 10 minutes and not doing that cut because it gets routed off anyway. So, another frame done. Looking good. My quality control is <laughs> better than ever. It's getting easier. So, tomorrow I'll come out, put the other chine on this one. Wait a couple hours, then I'll glue up the second frame. Now, just did a revised schedule of where I think I could be. And uh, it's not as bad as I thought. I actually didn't start this boat until... Let's see, I started building the strong back April of 2015. Did the Kilson in the summer of 2015. So, started assembling frames last spring. So, year and a half, two years, I mean, I know. But when I add it all up, it's it hasn't really been that long. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we'll try to keep working. Come up with a good schedule for, you know, getting caught up with, this, with you know, what we intended initially. And I'm not even going to speak with what that's about. But anyway, I'm enjoying it and I'm feeling good about it. All right. So until next time, peace and blessings.